The True Size of Countries. We're here on this website called The True Size of, and the way this works, it lets you take any country, I have America here, and you can put it up against any other country in the world. So we have the United States here without Alaska and Hawaii, compared to North Africa. As you guys can see, that Africa is absolutely ginormous as a continent. But in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at tons of different countries and how they compare up against Europe, how they compare up against the United States, and tons of different places around the world. To start this video off, we're going to start with a country or a territory that looks very big, but actually is very small, and that is Greenland. So if we come over to Greenland here, it looks absolutely massive, which it is quite big. But if we pull it all the way down here, you guys can see that it's actually not that big. I don't even think it's bigger than Algeria. Another cool thing about this website is if you look over to the left here, it tells you how big the country is exactly and how many people live there. So for example, if I pull up Australia, you guys will see Australia outlined here, how big it is, its population. And if I pull up another country like Brazil, you guys can also see it will do the exact same thing. And then putting them next to each other lets you easily compare the country size and how many people live there. You guys can see that Brazil is a little bit larger than Australia, but it has like 10 times the people, 200 million to 27 million, a big difference. Another really cool thing about this website is it lets you compare states from basically every single country. So I can grab Western Australia, which is the biggest state in Australia, and I can bring it over to Africa. And you guys can see that the state of Western Australia is bigger than Chad, it's bigger than Nigeria, it's bigger than Mali, it's bigger than lots of African countries, it's even bigger than South Africa. But I'm not really going to look at states in this video, I'm going to make a completely different video looking at the states. So make sure you guys subscribe so you can see that as well. But let's get back into this and let's compare Greenland to some more countries. As we showed earlier, compared to Africa, it's not very big, but what about if we bring it up to mainland Europe? You guys can see that it still is quite a big country or a territory, technically it's Denmark. You guys can see it's bigger than Greece, Albania, North Macedonia, Serbia, Bulgaria, Romania, basically every single country there combined, which is absolutely crazy. It's even a lot, lot bigger than Ukraine, which is the biggest country in Europe if you exclude Russia. If we bring it over to the United States here, you guys can see that it doesn't look as impressive, but it's still very big. It's bigger than Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico combined nearly, which is insane. Now, moving on to our first real country, we're going to look at the United Kingdom, and we're going to compare it up against some states in America, some states in Australia, and just other countries around the world. So the United Kingdom here, this is including Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, so not just England. If we bring it into mainland Europe here, you guys can see it's quite a decent sized country. I wouldn't say that it's bigger than most of these countries. It's probably bigger than like Hungary, Slovakia, Czech Republic, and Austria. Lots of countries in Europe are bigger. It's about the same size as Italy as well. What about if we bring it down to Africa? You guys can see compared to Algeria, it's very, very small. Compared to Libya, it's small. Compared to Egypt, it's small. Even compared to Saudi Arabia, it's very small. And then if we bring the United Kingdom all the way down to Australia, a country that it once conquered, you guys can see that it's not even bigger than the state I live in, New South Wales, which is absolutely crazy. And then we bring it over to New Zealand, another country that they conquered. You guys can see that it's maybe pretty similar in size. I actually want to see the size comparison between these two. But the United Kingdom is 242,000 square kilometers for 67 million people. And New Zealand is a little bit bigger at 270,000 kilometers, but only 5 million people. So a bigger country with way less people, which is crazy. And now let's compare it to the United States of America. So let's start off by putting it in the middle of the country. You guys can see that America makes the United Kingdom look very small. Just for example, if you lived in Colorado at the bottom and you wanted to drive to Montana, that's about the same distance as driving from Bournemouth in England all the way up to the top of Scotland, which is absolutely crazy. But now I want to flip the switch and I want to get the smallest country I can think of. So that's going to be something like Palau, Tuvalu, or Nauru. One of these little countries out here. Let's go with Micronesia. It literally has micro in the name. And I want to compare this up to some countries just so you guys can see how small some countries really are. Like they're tiny. So let's Let's go over here and let's grab Micronesia, which is this very small country here. You guys can see they also own tons of little islands around here, but we're going to be focusing on the main island because this is where most of the people live. You guys can see that only 100,000 people live here, which if you're watching this from a city, there's a high chance that your city has a lot more than 100,000 people in it. So the first thing I want to do, I want to bring it down to Australia and I want to compare the main island of Micronesia just compared to Sydney and see if Sydney is bigger as a city than it as a country is. If you guys aren't Australian, all this out here is all Western Sydney. It's not really the CBD, but it's still considered Sydney. If you live out here, you're from Sydney. And you guys can see that Sydney is probably about five times bigger than an entire country. And for our next one, I want to bring it over to New York City and see how big Micronesia is compared to New York. If we drop it on New York, you guys can see just how tiny it is. I was actually in New York recently. I stayed in Hoboken. And for me to get into the city, it was probably about 15 minutes. And just for even more of an example, when the World Cup is in New York in a couple months, they're going to be playing in Rutherford. So, 
Out here is where they're going to be playing. So if you're staying in the city of New York and you're going to watch the World Cup, you're going to have to drive nearly the whole country of Micronesia to get to your football game. For the next thing I'm going to do, guys, I want to take the country of India because it's a very interesting case topic here. 1.3 billion people live in India. And I just want to show you how crazy that is by comparing it to other countries that have way less people. So we're going to start this off by moving it up to Russia, which is the largest country in the world. You guys can see that India is quite big, but Russia has 120 million people compared compared to India's 1.3 billion. To make this even crazier, if we move India down to Australia, you guys can see that Australia is around three times bigger. India, like we said, has 1.3 billion people. Australia only has 27 million, so not even comparable. The odds are there's someone watching this from India, and if you are, let me know how many people live in your city or your town, because I actually want to know. It's crazy to me. And now the next thing I'm going to do in today's video, I want to get the biggest country from every single continent and stack them up against each other, just to see how different they are in terms of population and landmass. So obviously the biggest country in Oceania is Australia because, you know, Australia is also technically the continent. Our biggest country in South America is also a super easy one. That is Brazil. We talked about this earlier. A very big country, slightly bigger than Australia. For North America, I'm going to use both Canada and the United States just for comparison because they're both very big countries. So we're going to get the United States. We're going to include Alaska because that is definitely part of the country. And we're going to get Canada as well because Canada is a ginormous country. And now coming over to Africa, I believe the biggest country in Africa is Algeria. I could be wrong, and I'm not going to Google and check it because I should know this. I'm pretty sure it's Algeria. Oh, but it actually tells me on the website, largest country in Africa, which is a very cool thing. I didn't know the website did. And for Europe, I'm going to count Russia, even though most of it is in Asia. And for Asia, I'm going to do China, just for comparison. So we have all the biggest countries from every continent here. Let's go from left to right and compare every single country. So starting off here in Africa, the biggest country is Algeria. It's 2 million kilometers with 46 million people. The largest country, lots of people that live in it but it's definitely not that impressive compared to our other one. Moving on to our very next country next to that is Canada, which is 9 million, nearly 10 million square kilometers, and 37 million people live there. So it's a lot bigger than Algeria, but with less people, which is always very interesting to see. Just next to Canada is going to be the United States of America with Alaska. You guys can see that it's just slightly smaller than Canada, but 340 million people live there. That's like 10 times more than Canada as well. So just keep going more and more. Our next country is going to be Brazil, which is the largest country in South America and in the southern hemisphere. It actually says that there as well, which is a cool thing to see. 8.5 million square kilometers for 213 million people. A lot of people, slightly less than the United States. Now coming over to my homeland, the greatest country of all, Australia. You guys can see, again, it's a little bit smaller than Brazil. 27 million people. Honestly, not that impressive for a whole continent. It is my country though, so we're going to give it a break. I do love it. Now coming over to our next country, it's the biggest country in Asia. It is 9.5 million square kilometers with 1.4 billion people. So it's a about the same size as the United States, maybe a little bit smaller, but it has 1.4 billion people compared to America's 300 million. And then for the largest country in the entire world, which we left for last, is Russia. It's the largest country in Europe and Asia, whatever way you want to count it. 17 million square kilometers. That's more than the United States and Canada combined, and 146 million people live there. That is about it for this video, guys. But if you guys like videos like this, remember to subscribe, check out some of my other videos, because I'm going to be making a lot more in the future. What are you waiting for? Click on the videos. I'm not leaving until you click on the videos. You're still here? Okay, bye.